Hey guys, it's Annie, and I've made several videos on scripting over the last year and a half, but you guys always want more. Scripting is a law of attraction slash manifestation tool where you journal as if you are living the life that you want, and I've manifested plenty of things using this technique. So today I thought I would, for one, answer a lot of frequently asked questions I get on it, but also I'm gonna read from my old scripting journals and you'll see that a lot of what I wrote has come true. Also, there will be another giveaway in this video, so wait till the end, it's for subscribers only, so make sure you're subscribed and uh, I'll be giving away another personal development book. So this is my first ever journal that I ever started scripting in. So this goes way back before I had this huge transformation in my life and I was very self-conscious. I was in my head all the time. I kept things in. I didn't know how to express myself. I was broke. I was babysitting for $10 an hour in my toxic relationship and just at a really, really, really low point. Most of these first entries were confidence building scripting because I didn't know what I wanted. Okay. Here's one from March of 2016. I'm so happy to be surrounded by friends who are so uplifting and supportive and motivational. Things are so balanced. I have a very supportive and loving following. We're really helping to make a difference. I have over a million subscribers. That is still in the process of coming true. I love myself and the person I am and I love others. I am good and relaxed at having conversations with other people and I'm good at making eye contact and making others feel loved and comfortable. Do you see all of this emphasis on how I just felt so disconnected from people? The fact that I felt to journal that I'm good at making eye contact and conversing with people. If you don't know exactly the details you want of your life, start just writing how you want to show up. Oh, and also that first part where I'm talking about being surrounded by friends who are uplifting and supportive and motivational. I like recently just got that solid group of friends where it's not about gossip, it's not about surface level conversations, it's about growth, there's no judgment. We sit around and go deep with our conversations and it's so interesting going back into these first uh, scripting entries and it's like that's what I was wanting back then, that's what I was aiming for and I have it now. You know it took three to four years to get but it was worth it and everything is happening. I don't know if you know about my tattoo or not, but it says in perfect timing because everything is happening for us in perfect timing. Another question I get all the time is, do you script the same exact thing every day? As I read this, you'll notice that there are a lot of similarities, but it's just whatever comes up that day. Okay, another entry. I am so appreciative of my active subscribers that I have. I feel like I really connect with them and they really are my kind of people. That is so true, you guys are. I love the fact that I'm improving my life continuously and I'm able to genuinely share how I've done this. I've made successful videos on how to start your morning successfully, that is very true, and how to succeed at your interests, whatever they may be. I am fully and comfortably supporting myself thanks to my YouTube channel. I am really connecting with people and showing who I really am. I've been doing paid video shoots and I'm comfortable doing these things and my performance anxiety has disappeared. I have great people to guide me and give me advice. My friendships are also a huge and amazing part of my life. They are so genuine and compassionate. We all are very supportive of each other and the choices we make. I've never met better people. They are motivated, successful, loving, caring people who want the best for everyone. I've learned a lot from them and have grown into the kind of person I've always wanted to be. It's a very pure feeling and I couldn't be happier. It's sweet to look back because I feel the same way now, but like I on, I wanted the best for not only myself, but to be the best for others as well. And I think that's a big part of why manifestation is easy for me now because like, yeah, I do like to manifest specific things and I'm like, oh, I want that. Let's attract that into my life, but it's not this heavy ego, like I must succeed for others to look up to me. It's like, I want to be happy and I want to help inspire others to be happy as well. And I feel like coming from that energy is just so much more powerful. So I guess if you're looking to manifest things, do like a check, an inward check. Why is it that you want to manifest what you want? Is it from this um, pure ego point of view? Or is it genuinely because you're like, I just want to have an amazing life. 
and I want other people to have the same thing. And I think that's such a, a key part. Like not only the law of attraction, but the law of cause and effect, which is karma. You get what you put out. So if I'm putting out energy and I want to help people and I want the best for myself and others, that's why things show up for me easily. Moving on, this one's a pretty big spot on one. And it's one that recently came true. I'm so happy with my abundance of wealth. My bank account is full. I currently have 20,000 in my savings account and I never let my checking account get under 2,000. I never seem to have to worry about money or bills anymore. Money comes to me so easily. I don't even have to look for opportunities. They just present themselves to me. It's like the opportunities are never ending. I go on vacation when I want. I go home to visit my parents whenever I want and I live in an amazing apartment. Life is good. Yes, it is. No joke, and this is of recently, and I'm not trying to brag, I'm just being open, and I think people should be transparent, should be more transparent more often. I mean, we don't have to tell every detail of our life, but for the first time ever, I have over $20,000 in my savings account. A lot of that is going to taxes, but it's there. And when I wrote this, again, that was a mind-blowing number. That was not my reality back then. Here's another one. I'm not gonna read the whole thing, but I'm gonna read the very first part of it because it's very relevant. I am happy and excited about my life. My veneers look amazing and I can now smile with confidence. I don't know if you guys know this, but four of my front teeth are veneers and I wrote this entry before I got them. But in this, I said my smile transformation video that I did for my smile makeover went viral. It got 100,000 views the first month and it currently has three million views. I don't know if it has three million views right now, but I know that it definitely has over a million. I'll put a screenshot, we'll see where it's at. And my whole purpose for writing that was because I was like, okay, if I film this and make a smile transformation video, and that video does well, and I make income from that video, it can help pay for the veneers, and that's exactly what happened. Ooh, here we go. This is where we get into me manifesting my apartment. I wrote $10,000 at the top of the page multiple times, so it says 10K per month, 10K, 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 10K. I'm so grateful that I make over $10,000 per month from my YouTube. I'm grateful to be living at my current apartment building. It is such an invigorating environment. <laughs> I'm grateful that when we moved in November 2018 that the perfect place was available for the perfect price. Ever since moving here, I've become so inspired and productive. My income has increased greatly. I wake up every morning, get a big glass of water, change into my gym clothes, put all of my supplies into a bag and head down to the coffee machine and I grab a coffee. I go to the pool and meditate, journal, and read. After that, I have my pre-workout and go to the gym. I do a 30-minute cardio program and do another 30 minutes downstairs on the weights and other machines. Then I go up to my apartment, shower, get ready for the day, and I have so much fun filming and working around the apartment and amenities. I always feel happy and inspired. Whew. I mean, I currently am in the process of consistently making 10K months, but I did hit six figures last year. Spot on, man. So these are some entries from last year. I'm so grateful for everything in my life. Always have gratitude. I'm so grateful for, I, almost, I feel like I start most of my entries like that. Grateful, I'm so grateful for every Thing in my life. I have the most amazing relationship with my friends. Yes, I do. We truly support and encourage each other. I'm so fulfilled in my career. Not only is my YouTube constantly growing, but the women who watch my videos are so aligned and like-minded, and I love that we can all just build each other up. My channel is a place for growth and authenticity for everyone. On top of that, coaching women has really turned into my true calling. I love seeing women break through their limiting beliefs, living their lives in alignment with their full potential. Yeah, that's my life. That's my life. Seriously, that's my life. This is a year ago and I was still building up to this point. This last one is just to kind of show you that through all of the details that I put in my scripting, some days I just feel like blah, and I'm like, I don't really wanna focus on all the things that I want for my life, and sometimes I just need scripting to kind of boost me up emotionally. So here's a simple one. I am grateful for this beautiful and abundant life I live. I feel light. I feel free. I feel energized. I have the most amazing connections with the people in my life. I've become such a confident coach and the women I coach have had amazing results in their lives. 
I'm focused, I'm determined, life flows with ease, I feel free to express myself fully, things come easily to me and I'm a master manifester. I love my life, my family, my friends, my clients, and my subscribers. I'm so proud of myself for the continual growth. I don't remember the specific day, but I can tell you based off of this entry that I was feeling a little blah that day. I probably wasn't feeling super confident, and this was before I started coaching. I was in my certification program, but I think I was probably having a lot of self-doubt, and so that's why I wrote about how I'm a confident coach and I help women, so. Those are a bunch of different examples. Frequently asked questions, which I think I addressed a lot of them already. Do I script every day? I script a lot of days. Back then, I was scripting every single morning. Every morning was part of my morning routine. Um, I would just script out a page and it felt good. I haven't been doing that so much now because I've noticed that life kind of comes in seasons and some seasons I'm just like, yeah, I'm so excited about creating things in my life. And then some seasons I'm like, I just want to chill. All is well. All is always well, but I just kind of respect how I'm feeling. There's so many other aspects of manifestation that I'm not gonna dig into in this specific video because this is specifically about scripting. Although I feel really drawn to talk about things, about like not coming from a place of desperation and so many things. And I will also emphasize once again, I think manifestation is so easy for me because I've done a lot of work on myself. From those first readings you saw, I was at a completely different state in my life, but I just had faith. I'm like, I have faith that things are gonna work out, that things can get better. I saw so many other people's testimonials and, and experiences about changing their life around, and I'm like, I'm taking that as proof that I can do the same for my life, and it was true, and it, it didn't happen instantly. But let's say, like, if you're ordering some custom piece of furniture, let's think of it like that. So, you're ordering some custom piece of furniture, so first you have to decide what it is you want and kind of like put together d the design and how exactly you want it to look. And then you have to put in the order. And then it takes time for that builder to create that thing that you want. And then they have to ship it back and that shipping can take a while. And then it's there. So it's not like I journal and then the next day what I journaled is in my life. Like it takes time to formulate and to get created and to be drawn into you. Hopefully that analogy made sense. Um, but don't give up, keep doing it. Like the journaling I did about the quality connections and friendships that I started out with, I just recently received those high, high, high. I'm not saying that my other friendships that I have aren't quality, but like my, my, my friends that I've made in the coaching world and that I talk to all the time, it's just this mind-blowing, next-level, soulful connection, and it's so good. And that took four years. But then on the other hand, when I started scripting about $10,000, that showed up in a month. So it's, it's not on our timeline. Put it out there, know what you want, feel into it, and allow it to come. Anyways, I'm gonna wrap this up giveaway time. Two videos ago I had a giveaway so the winner for that giveaway is on the screen and I always give this book away but that's because it's so amazing but it's the success principles how to get from where you are to where you want to be by Jack Canfield. The reason I'm specifically giving this away in this video is because I first learned about scripting or future journaling from this and it's just a tiny little entry a couple pages on it but it stuck with me and I took what I got from those two or three pages and rolled with it and kind of did my own thing and it turned it into a lot of success in my life. So, to enter you must be a subscriber. You must click the like button and then leave in the comments your name, what state or country you're from, your email so I can contact the winner and then let me know what video you would like to see from me next and that's how you enter but that's all i have for you guys today i have a lot more videos on the law of attraction and manifestation also personal development videos i'll put some playlists right there for you to check out and i will see you soon with a new video bye guys